People were crying in the theater while watching the movie Lion, which is the true story of a poor Indian boy who got lost on a train. The authorities were unable to trace his family and he gets adopted out to Australian parents and nearly two decades later he goes on Google Earth desperately in search of his childhood village on the map. How did they make the background score for this very touching scene using just two notes. That's what we'll see in this episode. Welcome to the Suez Sons channel. I'm Sukrish. Every night, Saru searches on Google Earth for his childhood village based on just some image memories that he has from years ago. One night, he finds some landmarks. One by one, they seem to resemble his childhood memories. The water tank at the train station where he first got lost. The lake where he used to play with his brother. This lake looks like that. He seems to have found his childhood village. And the main melody for this scene is quite simple, made of only two notes, which repeat over and over. And yet, it's so effective and it works. How? The trickiest part of composing for a scene like this is knowing what aspect of the scene to highlight with the music. For instance, you can think of the scene as simply something highly emotionally charged and you might want to show off your compositional skills and want to make a lot of variations and end up with something like this. sounds pretty generic. Instead, O'Halloran and Bertelmann's music is repetitive but is so much more effective because it captures the soi or core essence of the scene which is intellectual discoveries leading to emotional overwhelm. At an intellectual level, Saru is getting data from a software interaction, the main tune played by a clarinet or clarinet-like instrument is repeating and signifies his data discoveries. This checks out. This is a match. This checks out. This is a match, you know, with that repeating theme. Doesn't that sound like memories firing up in the brain? or like a pleasant notification from software. And at an emotional level, with each new discovery, he's feeling more and more overwhelmed. The background chords played by string instruments, that is, violin family instruments, become louder and louder, signifying his emotional overwhelm. So that's exactly what's happening in the scene. And that's why this music is so powerful. Another reason why the main tune is so effective is because it makes use of a psychological phenomenon present in all of us, whether we are musicians or not. And that is our need for resolution. What does that mean? Let me give you a non-musical example. Take a look at these candles. You feel some unrest or tension because one of the candles is not aligned. But when it is pulled back into alignment, ah, you feel a sensation of relief, resolution. It's the same with music. 
The general principle in all music is to create tension and resolve it. Create tension, resolve it. For instance, if I play happy birthday starting with this as the home basis pitch, then it would sound like this. You know what comes next? You. So if I hold it at two and don't go to the next, you feel that unrest or some kind of tension, just like the candle example, and you feel relief ah, when we reach that final note. Most of us have this sensation of reaching that home base pitch. And that pitch is known as Sa in the Indian system or Do in the Western musical system. And Sa is very good at creating that sensation of having reached your destination and finding a resolution. So Sa has that quality the most. The note which has that quality in the second most capacity the second prize winner in this aspect is Pa. And this tune is entirely made of Pa and Sa. Pa, Sa, Pa, Pa, Sa. Or in the Western system, So, Do, So, So, Do. That's almost like going from a secondary stability place to a primary stability place. So this music is almost kind of symbolizing his second home in life, which is his Australian adoptive home. And from there, going to his first original birth home, India. What a beautiful symbolism. They've captured the essence perfectly. It fits in many ways. One is it suits software notifications and it matches the sensation of this landmark is a match, this landmark is a match, and it suits our innate need for reaching a resolution. So this is just absolutely perfect. See you on another episode. Check out other videos on this channel and don't forget to subscribe.